What is up everyone? My name is Cody and I've got a quick little video here for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be discussing the Google Ad Blocker. Um, and the way that you can do that is um, say if we just go into Google Chrome. And as you can see here, we've got some ads on this MVS video. Um, and I actually just, I want to go more into depth with this video. A lot of people don't know how to install this and I think it's kind of a shame uh, because I feel like, you know, if you don't want ads all over your videos, you shouldn't have them. Although I do support YouTubers that you know, do make monetary value through their ads. So, you know, which YouTubers you want to make revenue off of your visit or not is completely up to you. Um, so what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is how to install the extension of Google Adblock um, and also how to disable it in case you, uh, you know, you're fine with sitting through a couple ads for, um, you know, to help them make a living. So uh, what you're going to do is if you're using Google Chrome, I believe it works with Mozilla Firefox um, or any other extension any other web browser that you're using, um, you're just going to find your way to their app store. And I completely just clicked the wrong thing. Or their extension store. Um, so, first of all, you can go to preferences from uh, right up in the top bar if you're using a Mac like I am. And then go to extensions, get more extensions. That is um, if you want to navigate through there. If not, I know that you can find a lot of it on their website. I know for a fact that you can go to Mozilla.com and find their extensions um, and go through it like that. So um, we're just going to go ahead and go to extensions, and we're going to search ad block. And that is one word. You can buy the plus version if you'd like. I believe you have to buy it. I'm not sure. I've never experimented with it. Um, but if you just find the first one, ad block, um, it's from chromeadblock.com. I'll link that in the description. And I'll, I'll also just go ahead and leave a link to uh, you know directly to this if you don't want to go ahead and navigate to it. You can add to Chrome. You're going to want to restart your web browser. Um, and then when you open it right back up, go to a YouTube page, and uh, if you refresh it, your ad block will be on, and then uh, you're going to be shown without any ads. This works with any uh, in-seam ads, so anything on Facebook, I'd prefer if I didn't have to go to my Facebook because it's got a lot of personal information on that, and I'd rather not have that. Um, but anything such as Twitch TV, Facebook, Google, anything... The ads that are in lane on your video are no longer going to be there. Um, although, you know, your in stream that are going to be played in the video cannot be blocked because you know, that's your content that you're watching. Um, everything else will be blocked. So, um, you know, all these ads that you see on all these websites that clutters everything up is no longer going to be there. So, if you go to an envious video and you want to make them a couple extra bucks, um, you can go ahead and click on your little ad block icon here. As soon as it pulls down, you can pause your ad block. And what this does is it loads up all of their ads. Not sure why I didn't right there. Maybe it's just going to take a second because I'm recording. I'm going to assume that that's what's going to happen. Alright, well, apparently it's not wanting to load. Um, my computer, for whatever reason, runs extremely slow with ScreenFlow, and that's the only program I'm slow with. Um, but as you saw before, I turn ad block back on uh, there were ads on the side of the video ads uh, playing over the video awesome so I hope this helped you guys um, I'll link how to get Google ad block in the description and I uh, you know, hope you guys have a great time with this thanks